Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. Happy Friday. We got 15 matchups on this MLB slate today. Uh, a lot of good action on the board as we head into the weekend here, uh, right before the playoffs start. So it's a very exciting time for baseball. So go ahead and like and subscribe, guys. Support the channel. You guys already know what to do. Check out my links in the description below. And uh, go ahead and check out Prize Picks, a uh, new uh, partner of the show here. Um, if you didn't see my Prize Picks video, go check it out. Very fun and very user friendly app to just bet on over unders and props for MLB, NBA, football. Very fun. I've been having a lot of fun with it this last week, week and a half. And uh, yeah, go check it out in the link below and get a hundred uh, up to a hundred dollar match, hundred percent bonus. So um, yeah, go ahead and check it out. Going to start with the Reds and the Pirates. Pitching for the Reds is Luis Castillo with an ERA of 4.05. He's 8 and 16. Pitching for the Pirates is Will Crow with an ERA of 5.77. He's 4 and 8. The Reds opening up as the favorite at minus 165. Pittsburgh plus 139 with the over under at 8.5. The last start for Castillo, he's 0 and 1. Pitched six innings. Gave up two runs and had six strikeouts. For Crow, he's 0-1. Pitched four innings. Gave up three runs and had two strikeouts. Yeah, rolling with the Reds here. Um, yeah, just, just taking the Reds like Castillo on the mound. Will Crow has not been good on the mound for Pittsburgh here. Going to stick with Cincinnati. Next matchup, we have the Boston Red Sox versus the Washington Nationals. Pitching for Boston is Eduardo Rodriguez with an ERA of 4.93. He's 11 and 8. Pitching for the Nationals is Josh Rogers with an ERA of 2.73. He's 2 and 1. Boston opening up as the favorite at minus 180. Washington plus 170 with the over under at 9. The last start for Rodriguez. He's 0 and 1. Pitched five innings, gave up two runs and had eight strikeouts. For Rogers, he's 0 and 1. Pitched four innings, gave up three runs, and had three strikeouts. Yeah, rolling with Boston here. Uh, love Boston as we close out the regular season here. Washington hasn't been playing good. And, uh, yeah, we're going to stick with the Red Sox here. All right, next matchup, we have the Philadelphia Phillies versus the Miami Marlins. Pitching for the Phillies is Ranger Suarez with an ERA of 1.55. He's 6-5. Pitching for the Marlins is Sandy Alcantara with an ERA of 3.05. He's 9 and 14. Phillies opening up as the favorite at minus 141. Miami plus 110 with the over under at 7. The last start for Suarez, he's 1 and 0. Pitched 9 innings, gave up 0 runs, and had 7 strikeouts. For Sandy, he's 0 and 1. Pitched 6 innings, gave up 3 runs, and had 6 strikeouts. Yeah, rolling with the Phillies here. Love Ranger on the mound. Um, and yeah, love Rain, love love the Phillies, love Ranger on the mound here. Next matchup, we have the Cleveland Indians versus the Texas Rangers. Pitching for Cleveland is Eli Morgan with an ERA of 5.27. He's 4-7. Pitching for the Rangers is Spencer Howard with an ERA of 7.04. He's 0-4. Cleveland opening up as the favorite at minus 113. Texas plus 103 with the over-under at 9. Last start for Morgan. He's 1-0. Pitched 6 innings. Gave up 0 runs and had 6 strikeouts. For Howard, he's 1-0. Pitched 4 innings. Gave up 4 runs and then had 4 strikeouts. No value in this game here. You know, their seasons are pretty much done here. Hard to really take a favorite in this game here. I'm going to take Texas plus 1.5. All right, next matchup, we have the Detroit Tigers versus the Chicago White Sox. Pitching for Detroit is Willie Peralta with an ERA of 3.08. He's 4-4. Four four. Pitching for the White Sox is Lance Lynn with an ERA of 2.78. He's 10-6. The White Sox opening up as the favorite at minus 250. Detroit plus 210 with the over-under at 8.5. The last start for Peralta, he's 0-1. Pitched four innings, gave up two runs, and had three strikeouts. For Lynn, he's 0-1. Pitched six innings, gave up six runs, and had six strikeouts. Yeah, you know, Lynn coming off one of probably was one of his worst performances of the season here. I don't think that's going to happen this game here. Um, I like the White Sox, and I like Lance Lynn on the mound. Next matchup, we have the Chicago Cubs versus the St. Louis Cardinals. 
Pitching for the Cubs is Zach Davies with an ERA of 5.78. He's 6 and 12. Pitching for the Cardinals is Dakota Hudson with an ERA of 4.91. He's 1 and 0. The Cardinals opening up as the favorite at minus 217. Chicago plus 165 with the over under at 7.5. The last start for Davies. He's 0 and 1. Pitched two innings, gave up six runs, and had two strikeouts. For Hudson, he's 0 and 1. Pitched two innings, gave up zero runs, and had zero strikeouts. Yeah, I love the Cardinals here. You know, nice comeback performance against the Brewers yesterday. Very nice win in that matchup. No way on earth I'm taking the Cubs here. Rolling with the Cardinals. Next matchup, we have the Los Angeles Angels versus the Seattle Mariners. Pitching for the Angels is Jose Suarez with an ERA of 3.86. He's 7-8. Pitching for Seattle is Marco Gonzalez with an ERA of 3.80. He is 10 and 5. Seattle opening up as the favorite at minus 172. LA plus 162 with the over under at 8. The last start for Suarez. He's 0 and 1. Pitched 5 innings. Gave up 4 runs and had 1 strikeout. For Gonzalez, he's 1 and 0. Pitched 7 innings. Gave up 1 run and then had 5 strikeouts. Um. Yeah, you know, these teams already did play Seattle, winning two out of those, you know, two out of those three matchups there. Love Seattle here. Going to roll with the Mariners. Next matchup, we had the Milwaukee Brewers versus the Los Angeles Dodgers. Pitching for the Brewers is Eric Lauer with an ERA of 2.77. He's 7-5. Pitching for the Dodgers is Clayton Kershaw with an ERA of 3.38. He's 10-8. Dodgers opening up as the favorite at minus 190. Milwaukee plus 180 with the over under at 8.5. The last start for Lauer. He's 1 0. Pitched six innings. Gave up one run. Had nine strikeouts. For Kershaw, he is 0 1. Pitched four innings. Gave up three runs and had three strikeouts. Um, yeah, going to be a tough matchup here. Two really good pitchers on the mound. You know, Dodgers get a huge, huge money line, you know, money line odds on here. I like the Brewers plus one and a half here. Should be a nice competitive close game here. Eric Lauer's only given up three runs in his last three starts. Um, Give me the Brewers plus one and a half here. All right, next matchup, we have the Tampa Bay Rays versus the New York Yankees. Pitching for the Rays is Shane McClanahan with an ERA of 3.37. He's 10 and 6. Pitching for the Yankees is Nestor Cortez with an ERA of 2.85. He is 2 and 2. The Yankees opening up as the favorite at minus 152. Tampa Bay plus 120 with the over under at 9. The last start for McClanahan. He's 1 and 0. Pitched 5 innings. Gave up 1 run and had 3 strikeouts. For Cortez, he's 1 and 0. Pitched 4 innings. Gave up two runs and had four strikeouts. Yeah, this is a series I'm going to be flip-flopping on here. Tampa Bay getting decent plus money. You know, a very competitive matchup here. Give me Tampa Bay plus one and a half. Next matchup, we have the Baltimore Orioles versus the Toronto Blue Jays. Pitching for Toronto is Steven Matz with an ERA of 3.88. He's 13-7. and seven. Pitching for the Orioles is Connor Green with an ERA of 7.83. He's 1-3. Toronto opening up as a favorite at minus 435. Baltimore plus 295 with the over-under at 10. The last start for Mats. He's 0-1. Pitched three innings. Gave up two runs and had six strikeouts. For a green, he is 0-1. Pitched half an inning. Gave up two runs. Had zero strikeouts. Yeah, you know, Toronto really needs to win these games against Baltimore here to close out the weekend. Rolling with the Blue Jays here, you know, if you want to go throw a couple bucks on the Orioles, plus 295, I get it, but um, rolling with Toronto, going to add them to the parlays here. They should be able to get it done against this Baltimore squad. Next matchup, we have the New York Mets versus the Atlanta Braves. Pitching for the Mets is Tyler Meggle with an ERA of 4.78. He's 3-6. and six. Pitching for the Braves is Oscar Yanoa with an ERA of 3.98. He's 4-5. and five. The Braves opening up as the favorite at minus 185. The Mets plus 145 with the over-under at 8.5. The last start for Megal, he's 0-1. Pitched four innings, gave up four runs, and had two strikeouts. For Yanoa, he's 1-0. Pitched four innings, 
Gave up seven runs and had six strikeouts. Yeah, you know, I like the Braves here, you know. You know, coming off probably one of his worst games of the season. Um, you know, Megal has not been very good on the mound in his last few starts here. Um, and, you know, the Braves have been playing really great baseball here in their last 10, 15 games here. I'm going to stick with the Braves. Next matchup, we have the Minnesota Twins versus the Kansas City Royals. Pitching for the Twins. Uh, I'm seeing different pitchers for here, so we'll see who ends up starting in this matchup on both sides. Uh, for the Twins, it's either going to be Bailey Ober with an ERA of 4.19, he's 3-3, three and three, or it's going to be John Gant with an ERA of 3.7, 3.74, and he's 5-10. and 10. And then for the Royals, it's John Heasley with an ERA of 3.86, He's 0 and 1. Roy or the Twins opening up as the favorite at minus 135. The Royals plus 110 with the over under at nine. The last start for Ober. He's 1 and 0. Pitched five innings, gave up one run, had six strikeouts. For Heasley, he is 0 and 1. Pitched five innings, gave up zero runs and had three strikeouts. And then if Gant pitches, he is 0 and 1. Pitched three innings. Gave up one run and then had one strikeout. Yeah, there's really no value in this game at all. Kind of an ugly matchup. Give me the Royals plus one and a half here. Next matchup, we have the Oakland Athletics versus the Houston Astros. Pitching for Oakland is Sean Manea with an ERA of 3.94. He's 10 and 10. Pitching for the Astros is Framber Valdez with an ERA of 2.98. He's 11 and 5. I'm also seeing uh, Brandon Bilak could be pitching for the Astros. He has an ERA of 4.5, and he is 3-4. and four. Houston opening up as the favorite at minus 125. Oakland plus 100 with the over-under at 9. The last start for Manea, he's 1-0. Pitched 7 innings, gave up 1 run, had 8 strikeouts. For Valdez, he's 0-1. Pitched 6 innings, gave up 1 run, had 3 strikeouts. And then if Balak um, pitches, he's 0-1, pitched three innings, gave up three runs, and then had three strikeouts. Um, yeah, you know, this last series, Oakland swept them 3-0. to zero. Uh, Looked really good in that series. Not much value in this game coming off the sweep against Houston. Um, and, a, you know, uncertain pitching situation for Houston here. Give me Oakland plus one and a half. And then the last matchup on the slate, we had the San Diego Padres versus the San Francisco Giants. Pitching for the Padres is Joe Musgrove with an ERA of 3.27. He's 11-9. Pitching for the Giants is Anthony Descalfani with an ERA of 3.26. He is 12-7. Giants opening up as the favorite at minus 135. San Diego plus 110 with the over-under at 8. The last start for Musgrove, he's 0-1. Pitched five innings, gave up three runs, and had nine strikeouts. For De Sclafani, he is 1-0. Pitched four innings, gave up two runs, and had three strikeouts. I mean, yeah, rolling with the Giants here. Getting end of the season, Padres are still just awful. Not going to do it with the plus money for the Padres. Give me Giants. And that's going to be for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Friday. And I'll see you guys Saturday. Have a good one.